we are taking you back in time on virginmedia.com to a place of chewy, juicy sweets sold in paper bags by long-suffering news agents to smirking kids. Yes, we're getting all nostalgic for retro sweets, beginning with tasty, tasty cola bottles. These iconic sweets came plain and chewy or covered in suckable fizzy sherbet. They're still around today, but like most things retro, they just don't taste the same. <sighs> Never mind the X-Files. In the olden days, the only flying saucers we cared about came from the sweet shop. These treats come in a sugary UFO-shaped wafer filled with sherbet. Mmm, lovely papery fizzy goodness. Remember these? A bag of blackjacks would always leave you with a black tongue that lasted for days. And peeling them was always a pain because bits of paper would always stick to the chew. Ah, good times. Then there's sherbet, the ultimate retro ingredient. Think sherbet dip dabs with a sugary lolly, or a sherbet fountain complete with a stick of licorice to suck the sherbet from. Refreshers are a classic retro sweet that we bet was often in your bag of penny sweets. It's a full-on stick-to-your-teeth chew with a burst of fizz in the middle, and the blue and yellow wrapper is an iconic sweetie sight. Next, twisty, fluffy marshmallow. They're a riot of squishy, melt-in-the-mouth tastiness. Eating just one was never an option. Before you knew it, the whole tub was gone. Swizzles was such an iconic sweet brand that Princess Diana toured their factory in 1991. As well as their candy whistles, a lipstick-like stick of candy inside a whistle, Swizzles were also famous for the tasty double lollies, which combined two flavors, one on top and one underneath. The candy necklace is such a classic that Jody Marsh once wore one as a bikini, <laughs> but we won't hold that against it. Consisting of chalky sweeties threaded onto a piece of elastic, this was a piece of innovative haute couture to put Vivian Westwood to shame. 